Hi, Gabe Russo with the Majestic Rider. So back on Tilly working on her canner. Uh, the previous uh, video I put her over a jump, so now I'm just using a pole. She's very smart, so once she gets things, she actually, you know, figures it out and knows what to do, and I just got to stay out of her way. So she's worse to the left, so I already went that direction first, but the pole was in front of the camera, so I didn't want to videotape that. So now we're going to go to the right. Some of the times when you see her go over the pole, she might canter over it, but if I don't feel her rock back on her hocks, I'm going to keep doing it because I want her to kind of come up some. Uh, she could canter on trail, it just wasn't very well. So if your horse can't canter at all, again, she could canter at least a little bit, just not really in the arena. So if your horse can't canter at all, then I would accept that. If they do any kind of canter step that's somewhat decent, I would take it. But once they have some clue, then I ask for more. So out of her, I want a leaping step. Tilly can really rock back on her hocks because I saw her rear up at one point. Any horse that can rear up, I know they can come back on their hocks. So I want her to engage herself, really push off that back end and kind of come up in the front end. Not everybody likes that kind of canter. Um, some people like it flatter and lower to the ground. I really do like it to come up at times. So that's what I'm aiming for with her. And so let's start. And what I'm gonna do is as I get over there, I, I kind of tell her, get ready so she knows something's coming. And then a couple steps in front of that pole, I'm gonna give a half halt, which means squeeze and relax on the reins. That tells her something's coming. I shift my weight a little bit to the outside. So that's gonna be to the left. And then I don't kick her or anything. I just dig with my left leg. And if she doesn't go, I give her a little tap with the stick. And I'm just trying to get one good step. That's all I'm trying to get. So if I get more, that's great. But otherwise, as soon as I get one good step, I'm going to stop and give her a break. with my stick but instead of rocking back and uh, kind of jumping over it she just went faster at her gait over it and if they pull on you like she just did you just slide that bit and make it uncomfortable uh -huh. okay so still look at her little attitude there uh still not that great but she tried harder so i'm gonna give her a little treat like because she's not getting it so much to the right she did better to the left, imagine that, her worst direction. So I want to give her incentive, like, hey, you tried, you did rock back a little bit, so here's a little treat and a little rest, and then I'm going to try it again. So as soon as they start chewing and they're looking around, not doing stuff, that's when I ask them to go again. If you wait too long, they forget what they're doing. If you don't give them enough rest, it's not worth it for them to make the effort, usually. Wrongly. So that was better, but you saw I hit her twice and I switched my stick to the other hand. I like to use it in my outside hand, but if it's not working, then I switch things around. So I'm trying to come in slow. You'll see her hind quarter kind of come in the center of the arena a little bit because that helps her to get the lead by bringing her hind quarter to the inside. And I'm trying to get it set up so when the pole's not there, I can push her hind quarter to the inside and ask her for that correct lead, which is the right lead since we're going to the right. That was better. She cantered and she cantered a couple steps. It was quite nice and nice and smooth. She didn't come up in the air so much, but she's making an effort. And I did ride her around a fair mountain here before, so maybe she's tired. So um, you, you kind of see how it goes, but you can change your plan during it. I'm going to try and get one more good canter step or decent canter step, and then that's it for today. So I like to do things in sets of three. So if I get three good steps, I'm pretty good with it.
Okay, so right there, she tried really hard. She said, I think I know what you want. And she tried it and that was good enough. Remember, you're trying to reward the effort. I can't get perfection. I'm just trying to get her the idea in her head. And then she can her a couple steps afterwards. I was quite happy with that. So she told me, I just gotta get my canner this way, Gay. I'm not gonna do that leaping step yet. And I said, okay, I get it. You're not ready to do it. So I'm not gonna be so picky. So the horse will tell you what they can do and then it's you just figuring it out and trying to reward the effort and then over time making it better and better. But this is much better than she had before. If I asked her before to canter up in here, she just kind of scrambled. So remember I, I taught her on the ground first and I had her go over jumping poles and then I actually did it on the lunge line but I didn't videotape that. And then I jumped her over a jump and then I went to the poles and now she's actually figured it out pretty good. So in time, I don't think she's gonna need the poles at all, but some of the horses need the poles or jumps longer than the other until they really get the idea. Remember, they all learn different. Some are, you know, fast learners, some are slow learners. So you just gotta figure out which is your horse and then try to curtail your training to help them to be successful. Um, that's the hard part, you can't teach them all the same. So some are smart, some are slow, some take a, a week and I can get them to canter because they're trotty or they cantered before and they have some idea, they just couldn't do it in the arena. And then some take many months and some can take years if they're not, if the person's not doing it correctly. But it'll come, just have, you know, take your time, patience, try to get help. Uh, if you're not sure what it looks like, videotape yourself, see if it looks like a canter step because sometimes uh, people are missing it. It just feels weird in some of the gated horses in the beginning and they're trying but you're missing that they're actually trying because the canter feels weird to you compared to the other horses canters. All right, that's it for today.